The death of Shirley Caesar's father had a profound impact on her. Losing her father at such a young age was a significant emotional blow, leaving a void that deeply influenced her music and her life. Shirley often speaks of her father's influence and how his love for gospel music inspired her to pursue her own career in the genre. This early loss instilled in her a sense of purpose and determination to honor her father's memory through her music. Shirley Caesar married Bishop Harold Ivory Williams in 1983. While their marriage was built on mutual respect and shared faith, it was not without its challenges. The couple had to navigate the demands of their respective careers, with Bishop Williams serving as the senior prelate of the Mount Calvary Holy Church of America and Shirley traveling extensively for her music ministry. Balancing their professional responsibilities with their personal lives required significant effort and commitment from both. The loss of her husband in 2014 was another devastating blow for Shirley. Bishop Williams had been her partner in life and faith for over three decades, and his death left her grappling with profound grief. Despite this immense loss, Shirley continued her ministry and music, finding strength in her faith and the support of her church community. One of the most significant personal battles Shirley Caesar faced was her diagnosis with a vocal cord tumor in the early 1990s. For a singer whose voice was her most vital asset, this diagnosis was particularly daunting. The tumor required surgery, and there was a considerable risk that she might lose her singing ability. Shirley underwent surgery, and the recovery process was long and challenging. During this time, she relied heavily on her faith, her family, and her fans for support. Her return to singing was nothing short of miraculous and was seen as a testament to her resilience and unwavering faith. Shirley's battle with the vocal cord tumor not only tested her physically, but also emotionally and spiritually, reinforcing her belief in the power of faith and prayer. As a gospel artist, Shirley Caesar has faced numerous challenges within the music industry. Despite her immense talent and contributions to gospel music, she often had to navigate an industry that frequently overlooked gospel in favor of more mainstream genres. Gaining widespread recognition and commercial success was an uphill battle, but Shirley remained steadfast in her mission to spread the gospel through her music. Her commitment to staying true to her roots and her faith sometimes limited her crossover appeal, but she never wavered in her dedication to her calling. Shirley's determination to maintain her integrity and authenticity in an industry that often prioritizes commercial success over artistic and spiritual values is a testament to her character and faith. Like many public figures, Shirley Caesar has faced her share of public scrutiny and criticism. As a prominent gospel singer and pastor, she has been held to high moral and ethical standards. Any perceived misstep or controversial statement has often been magnified and scrutinized by the public and the media. One notable controversy occurred in 2016 when Shirley made comments during a sermon that were perceived as critical of the LGBT community. The backlash was swift and severe, with many accusing her of being homophobic. Shirley clarified her statements, emphasizing her intent to preach love and redemption rather than condemnation. This incident highlighted the challenges she faces as a public figure navigating the delicate balance between her religious convictions and public perception. Despite her successful career, Shirley Caesar has faced financial struggles and legal issues throughout her life. Managing the business side of her career, including disputes over royalties and contractual disagreements, has been a significant stressor. These financial challenges have required careful navigation and often legal intervention, adding another layer of complexity to her already demanding career. Shirley Caesar's life and career are a testament to her incredible talent, resilience, and unwavering faith. From her early days singing in her local church choir to becoming one of the most celebrated gospel artists of all time, Caesar's journey is one of triumph over adversity. Her personal struggles, including her battle with disease and the loss of her husband, have only strengthened her resolve and deepened her faith. As she continues to inspire audiences with her music and ministry, Shirley Caesar's legacy remains one of faith, perseverance, and the transformative power of gospel music. Her story is a powerful reminder of the importance of resilience, the strength of community support, and the enduring impact of faith in Shirley overcoming Caesar, life's challenges. Often referred to as the first lady of gospel music, has had an illustrious career spanning over seven decades. Known for her powerful voice and passionate delivery, Caesar's music has touched countless lives worldwide. This comprehensive account explores her early life, family, career milestones, collaborations, personal battles with disease, and the tragedies she has faced. 
Shirley Ann Caesar was born on October 13, 1938, in Durham, North Carolina. She was the 10th of 13 children in her family. Growing up in a large family, Shirley was surrounded by music and faith from a young age. Her father, James Caesar, was a tobacco worker and a local gospel singer, while her mother, Hallie Caesar, was a devout homemaker. The family's strong Christian faith played a pivotal role in shaping Shirley's future. Shirley's father was her first musical influence. He passed away when she was only seven years old, but his love for gospel music left an indelible mark on her. After his death, Shirley took on various responsibilities to help her family, which included taking care of her younger siblings. Despite these challenges, she found solace and inspiration in gospel music, often singing in her local church choir. Shirley Caesar married Bishop Harold Ivory Williams in 1983. Williams was the senior prelate of the Mount Calvary Holy Church of America. Their union was one of mutual respect and shared faith, lasting until Bishop Williams' death in 2014. Although Shirley and Harold did not have children together, Shirley embraced her role as a stepmother to Williams's children from his previous marriage. Shirley's deep-rooted faith has always been at the core of her personal and professional life. Her marriage to Bishop Williams further strengthened her spiritual journey. Together, they were active in their church community, often leading services and participating in various charitable activities. Shirley Caesar began her professional career at the age of 12, singing with the renowned gospel group, The Caravans, led by Albertina Walker. She quickly gained recognition for her powerful voice and emotional delivery. Her time with The Caravans laid the foundation for her future success, allowing her to hone her craft and gain valuable experience in the gospel music scene. In 1966, Shirley Caesar embarked on a solo career. Her debut solo album, I'll Go, was a commercial success, establishing her as a leading figure in gospel music. Over the years, she released numerous albums that showcased her unique style and powerful voice. Songs like Hold My Mule, No Charge, and He's Working It Out For You became gospel anthems, resonating with audiences worldwide. Throughout her career, Shirley Caesar has received numerous awards and accolades. She has won 12 Grammy Awards, 14 Stellar Awards, and numerous other honors. In 2016, she was inducted into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame, cementing her legacy as one of the most influential gospel singers of all time. Her contributions to gospel music have been recognized not only in the religious community, but also in the mainstream music industry. Shirley Caesar has collaborated with many gospel legends throughout her career. Her work with the Caravans brought her into contact with other gospel greats like Albertina Walker, Dorothy Norwood, and Inez Andrews. These collaborations helped shape her musical style and provided her with a platform to reach a broader audience. In addition to her work within the gospel genre, Shirley Caesar has crossed over into mainstream music on several occasions. She has collaborated with artists like Whitney Houston, Kirk Franklin, and Patti LaBelle. Her ability to bridge the gap between gospel and mainstream music has broadened her appeal and introduced gospel music to new audiences. In the early 1990s, Shirley Caesar faced a significant health challenge when she was diagnosed with a vocal cord tumor. This diagnosis was particularly daunting for a singer whose voice was her instrument. The tumor required surgery, and there was a risk that she might lose her singing ability. With the support of her family, friends, and faith community, Shirley underwent the surgery and made a miraculous recovery. Her return to singing was seen as a testament to her faith and resilience. One of the most profound tragedies in Shirley Caesar's life was the loss of her husband, Bishop Harold Ivory Williams, in 2014. His death was a significant emotional blow, as he had been her partner in life and faith for over three decades. Despite this immense loss, Shirley continued her ministry and music, finding strength in her faith and the support of her church community.